Hey guys, Jono here from OptiZen AI. In this video, I'm just going to go through the process we use uh, with AI to create long form blog posts and content for our e comm stores and informational sites, etc. There are so many different tools you can use these days, and they're only growing daily. Uh, we use Surfer SEO a lot. We do use the Surfer AI feature, but we also use other tools. And the one I'm going to show today is Zimrider. Zimrider is great for certainly if you're on a budget, and but you can actually still create quite good quality AI content, which still requires editing. But all AI long form content you should edit and really dive into after that the AI process has been completed. But Zimrider, the the updates are flowing weekly, uh, always improving, and it's it's one of the tools that uh, you can use with with a system to create that good quality content and the content will rank. Um, so we'll just go through an example here and what we're going to try and achieve is our over 70 score in Surfer for a term we're going after using Zimrider only. And then we're going to then add the raw content into the Surfer editor and see how it scores. And then um, that'll give you an idea of, of the quality quality from the surface score point of view, which is not everything, but it's certainly um, a, a sort of a baseline that you can work to. And uh, then if you edit the content, you upload correctly, that point of publish where you have your SEO title, your URLs, your H1, your internal linking images, all that sort of stuff sorted out, then you're in a good place to, um, to actually rank the content. And what we generally do is uh, once the content starts ranking and if, we're, if it's on a high quality site, you know, essentially it ranks pretty well out of the box and it starts generating traffic, then we'll go back and actually uh, improve that content even more. So the term we're going to go after as an example here is uh, Allerton Castle. So uh, this is a basically a tourist uh, site in the UK. And this piece of content will be going on to a UK travel slash tourism type site. So if we come to AREFs, we can see that Good volume, good search volume, rel relatively easy in terms of keyword difficulty. And that's um, for this particular site, it's it's a nice opportunity to go after a keyword like this. So we're literally going to go after just this, in this example, the main term Allerton Castle, uh, 1,100 searches per month just for that, that one term. So I haven't chosen our top five competitors yet with Surfer. And um, we're going to have a look. So I think certainly we'll grab the actual Allerton Castle. And all, all I'm doing here is if you can't see on the screen, uh, we're just going to add this to a notepad. So I'm just pasting these URLs into a notepad. Uh, historic houses. Uh, let's just leave that one for a moment. TripAdvisor. This is a travel site. Obviously, one of the biggest sites in the travel sites in the world. But we will grab that. Um, I do like to use TripAdvisor for this particular uh, competitor site for travel, uh, even though, you know, it's, it's got massive authority. Uh, generally, their content's pretty good. So we use that as a competitor. You can see a lot of these are uh, smaller. I'm actually going to grab smaller in word count. I'm actually going to grab Wikipedia. Uh, this set travel site where we're going to post this article on is quite high DR, significantly high. So, so we can actually look at competing with some of these you know, Wikipedia TripAdvisor. It actually, this site we're going to publish on uh, actually outranks TripAdvisor for certain terms uh, already. Alton Carth, Britain Express, we'll grab that one. So that gives us three or four. So how many have we got? One, two, three. I might just leave this one because we'll open that and have a look at that. Wikipedia, TripAdvisor, Taste of Design. I'm going to remove that one because it's limited word count. I might just have a look what it is, though. Uh, this one here. Allerton Castle Wedding Venue. We'll leave that. Yeah, I like this one. So let's look at taste.design. So it's, yeah, it's the, uh, 
I don't like that for a competitor. Historic houses. Yeah, this is not bad. So we'll keep those four and we'll keep this one. So that gives us five competitors, but four the URLs we're actually going to use uh, as our scraping content, which you'll see in a second using Zimrider. We're going to use allertoncastle.co.uk, TripAdvisor. We're going to use Wikipedia as well, and we're going to use Britain Express. I'll just have a look at that while we're here. Generally, what I'm looking for here is, um, like, for example, the some of the other URLs were mainly just about the wedding venue, but we want to we want to look at creating an article that's about the entire topic, Allerton Castle, with a bit of history, etc. Uh, so we can see here certainly this one's got history, so this is not a bad bad option, and it's basically uh, an overview of Allerton Castle. So we're going to use that. So we have four four URLs we're going to use in Zimrider to actually go through that process. So we've got those and we'll put them into a notepad. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, um, I wouldn't normally do it in this order. It's just that by recording this video, I can't have Zimrider and the browser open at the same time so you can view them. So I'm just getting the information on there. Generally, what I do is have, obviously, the Zimrider open and the browser open, and I just work between the two. Um, but we're going to copy and paste what we need uh, in these videos, and then I'll record a second video for Zimrider, and it'll all be, obviously, in the same video you're watching. Then... So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our NLP keywords. And all I do is copy down to, like, it's it's pretty random the way we do this, but we're, we're getting good results. So, like, you know, three quarters or a bit over three quarters of the number of keywords we actually have. Um, so I'm going to paste that in the notepad as well. Copy all these keywords. And then what I've, we've got is just a little script in Excel that basically removes the like the numbers here. And we end up with copy. We end up with a comma separated list of all these keywords. So we've got that. And then the last thing we need is the number of headings. So the recommended headings based on these competitors is between 7 and 11. So I'm going to... I'm going to go for 10 in this particular setup. Okay, so that's all the information we need for from Surfer initially. So we're going to take that and then now go to Zimrider. And then we'll come back later and paste the output into Surfer as well. Okay, we're in Zimrider. Uh, on my screen, Zimrider is flashing a bit with the, the video connection. Uh, so apologize for that. Um, but we should be able to go through this process anyway. So our core term we're going to go after is Alice Allerton Castle. And by the way, we're in the SEO writer section of Zim. Um, if you haven't used Zim before, you can go through the tutorials on how to use that. Um, here, we're going to add our global background. And this is where we're going to add the URLs we grabbed. So I'm going to go to my other screen. I'm just going to grab all these URLs and I'm going to paste them in here to add global background. Uh, the number of subheadings. So this is where we said we were going to have 10. I'm going to use GTP4, not G, not 3.5. And then now we're actually going to, and you'll need Scrape Owl to do this. So you need to set Scrape Owl up uh, in the Zim Writer settings. And what Zim will do is go and scrape the background content from these four URLs. So uh, option three, H2 from AI plus competition uh, and global background. Okay, so that took uh, about two or three minutes, went through and it scraped those four URLs and now we have our background content in here. So generally I don't touch this unless there's a glaring uh, issue. So we're gonna leave that here. We've got our subheadings 10, GTB4, and that's all set for uh, the next step. You can see here it's created the H2s. Again, we'll leave these and trust the process. Uh, I generally keep, certainly for for articles that are you know between sort of a thousand and two thousand uh, recommendation from surface so that's what this particular article is so we leave the h2 section as short and the voice as professional for this particular case then we're going to enable lists enable tables and i like to add short faqs 
We're going to enable key takeaways. We're going to boost chance of detection as real, and we're going to leave everything else unchecked. Uh, the custom prompt, custom prompt, we're going to enable. Now, what we do find is using a custom prompt, it can actually reduce the score in Surfer, but we're going to test it here. So I've got a custom prompt. Um, all it is is terms that we don't want so, uh, Zim to actually use. So a lot of the kind of default AI kind of uh, phrases and terms that you'll see um, that, that doesn't sound uh, human written. So we've just got a list here in, in our custom prompt if, and you can see you can see a tutorial on how to use custom prompts on the Zim Writer uh, tutorial website. So we're going to add that and we're going to add it for for everything. So there's our prompt there. We'll add it as GTP4. This, it, it does uh, cost a little bit more by doing it this way, but um, it's still extremely cheap. Okay, so that's set. Custom prompt is set right in the style of an English uh, an English uh, we'll say tourism expert. Uh, use auto style uh, no because we're, we're writing in the style of an English tourism expert. Going to leave this unchecked. Going to leave this unchecked. Uh, not unchanged. Uh, and we want it in English. We're going to leave the keyword subsection as default, which is five. And then here is where we add our comma separated list that we grab from Surfer. Uh, I'm just going to grab those now. Okay, and we're going to paste them in this section here. And there's that comma separated list from Surfer. So we leave everything else unchecked. And then we want to go ahead and start SEO writer with scraping. It's telling us uh, there's more than 10 subheadings, or it's 10. We're only using 10. It's going to cost a bit more, but that's fine. So, we... okay, so Zim writer has completed the output. Uh, so next thing you need to do is come down, come to a site markdown to html.com. There's a number of different sites to do this conversion, but basically Zim output is in, uh, it saves it as a text file to your machine, but the output is in markdown. So then we need to convert it to HTML. So I'm just gonna grab the, uh, grab the output on my other screen. Just gotta find it and we'll copy, paste the output here, and then that converts it to HTML, so then we can copy that output, go to Surfer, and then we can paste in our content and see what score we get. Okay, so straight away we've got a score of 73, so up there as we need. Um, you can We're going to either use this content as it is. Uh, generally what we'll do is just read it uh, and make sure it's grammatically correct. Maybe make a few little adjustments, get a higher score in Surfer, but then publish with, generally uh, we'll publish with a video on this sort of content with a video, um, you know, using rank math, then we can have our video schema added in automatically, our FAQ schema, et cetera, and that's just gonna enhance, enrich the content a little bit further. Um, you know, it is it is a little bit generic, but like I said, once it starts ranking and generate traffic, then we'll come through and, and do a, a deeper edit uh, of the content. I hope this was helpful on how to get uh, adequate to good surf scores using Zimrider just with some uh, some basic foundational settings. Thanks, see you in the next video.